All right. We're going to look at this uh, no power concern on this trailer connector. What's up, man? How are you? We're gonna look at this here. It's a uh, so what we have is a twenty one transit and somebody has installed a module that goes down to the trailer connector and they're saying they ain't getting anything at the connector i see the lights are on up here and it ties into the module but what's going on between here and down there at the trailer connector i gotta figure out what's going on i see the lights on but i'm getting no power at these wires that are plumbed through this harness so i'm gonna have to pull that light out of there and see if they installed everything correctly You got a couple T20s to hold the light in. These lights can be tricky. They can pop out of there. Sometimes they're difficult to get out of there. need to figure out where they plumbed everything here it looks like these wires I think some of what they did is a little unnecessary so this part leaves the module and goes down to the trailer connector and this part is what's feeding it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this section of wire up right here where they've spliced stuff in and see if they actually spliced everything in correctly because there's some kind of splice pack or something going on right here that may have been wrong. So, just kind of slowly taking this apart to see where Theoretically, I should have power on this yellow wire right here where they have this yellow spliced in because they have the brown and yellow wire are what run off the circuitry for this light right here. 
and if it's sending power into that module technically one of the wires that are coming out of that module should be hot down at the trailer connector The module may have left the chat. They did a good job soldering everything. I have to give them that. They did a real good job. So that's grounded. That's grounded. there we go so we have power supply that's what the red screen means I'm getting battery voltage 13.7 volts going into the module now let's well, let's see what we have going out of the module we can do that down here The wires coming out of the module are these wires right here that they have tied in. We got ground. We got nothing. We got nothing. And we have nothing. So we have a bad module. Uh, let's try the other circuits in the module. Let's try some uh, turn signals and stuff like that. I'll be right back. I'll put the turn signals on or the flashers on and let's see if that circuitry is good. But either way, we got power going from that light into the module, letting that module know to turn on the power circuit for the trailer, but it's not doing it. It's a bad module. Okay. Well, I'm continuing to check and I'm live right now, just so you know. Let's see if any of our Okay Our turn signal is working like it's supposed to Let's move down here and check Hey, can you, uh, Jay, can you hit the brakes? Nothing. And turn, uh, turn the turn signal off. Are you touching the brakes right now? 
I think this module is done. Yep, our brakes brake circuit is good. Yeah, we got nothing at all. Yeah, that module is uh that module's no good, it's not even working. What's up? Using the battery tester? No. So the white is ground. I'd have to look up a schematic for this and see if they even have this thing hooked up correctly because they may have it hooked up wrong completely. And I don't have, I don't even know where this came from. I don't even know what model this is because there's no name on it. There's no nothing on it. I wonder if, hey, go ahead and uh, let go of the brake. What? Let go of the brake. Turn the, turn the right turn signal on. Yeah, this module is not even... I wonder if they went to the wrong side of it. That's what it is. I tried to look up a schematic on this thing, but... See if there's a name? There's no name. Okay, so... I know that I don't have... Let's see here. I don't know what this junk is. What any of this right here is. It doesn't even go to anything for me. Or does it? Oh, there's another wire right there. Uh, let me check that wire. I didn't even check that wire. Hold on, that could be a main power wire from up front that's added in. I apologize about the phone going off. I, I hope whoever it is, if you're on here and you're texting me right now, please don't. <laughs> it messes with the live stream. Let me just check this real quick. It's not grounded, it's not doing anything. Where the heck does that even go? That goes way up at the top. All right, turn the, turn the turn signal off. What the hell? this junk oh look at this look at this it's about as stupid as they come right there why would you why in the world would you take this and route it right over the top right over a sharp edge of metal stupid I gotta get my snips. I gotta cut these connectors right here because they routed these wires right over that sharp edge, right on the stamped steel part.
Well, I hope it goes back on. They've got so some of the some of the edges of the plastic is breaking when I'm taking it off because they have the wire jammed in the channel where the the plastic piece. See right there? See how that one is above the channel? Over here, they got it jammed in the channel right where the thing clips in. So when you're going to when you're going to pull it off, as you're going to pull it off, you're pulling the wire out of the channel and it's binding up the plastic and it and it continues to snap it. I, I don't it, I don't know what these people are thinking when they're building these things. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. See, they should have did it like this one here where it's above it so you can see what's going on instead of putting it in the channel. Then you got to try to walk through all this stuff without breaking it and my god oh yeah they said be a mechanic be a mechanic it'll be great the reason i'm taking these off is because people drill through these they drill right through the wiring harness And then there's holes in that. You say, Jay, Yo. I'm gonna pull on this wire, see if you see it over in the corner right there. Are you looking? Which corner? Over here or over there? Behind your head right here, man. Behind the corner. There's wires that are running in this corner up here. I don't care. I'm pulling it out. Completely out. It goes back there behind that foam. I bet you if I powered up that module and then took a, a light, I bet you that's the main power supply for that module. It is hot in there. God. Sweating like a stuck pig. I know what happens. It goes up in here. They, they're hiding it back up in, in this area. That's the emergency lights. I bet you it's going in here. And it probably comes down. Come on probably comes down in this area right in here what you want to bet Fuck. this shit oh there it is right there I knew it I knew this where it was gonna come right in there there it is so gotta pull this molding back There's the wires. Let me set you guys down for a second so I can pull those wires. Oh great, they run under the foot well right here, the plastic, and I gotta, that's, it's always a bear to get that off of there. Let me try to rip it up. Oh my god. 
they got it running down the channel around the back of the seat under the metal part of the seat and back around the front and then up this way stupid my god Oh, I wonder why it doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. There's a fuse. There's a fuse. Oh, wait. There's no fuse right there. This is not a factory install. And I bet you if I pulled the seat out of here right now, they would have this sitting right over on top of the batteries. Why don't I do that real quick? So no wonder why the module wasn't working. So I'm bleeding? Oh, I cut my finger open. Electrical problem after electrical problem after electrical problem. What's wrong with this thing? I'm live right now, just so you know. I don't say anything bad. Uh, they said that to 21, it's under warranty. Why aren't we getting any power back to the trailer uh, connector? They made it seem like it was warranty. like. They didn't tell us that somebody aftermarket installed all these wires to go back there to power the little module that feeds off of the circuit. In my school district, they do stuff like that all the time. Yeah, yeah, and they didn't say anything about any of this stuff, and I've literally had to go through ripping stuff apart to figure out what they've done. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, it's it's, off it's completely on them at this point. Yeah. This is not a warranty trailer module. Yeah. And I'm looking at these wires, and some of them, or one of them doesn't even have a fuse in it. So if there was supposed to be power, they're getting back to that module to turn it on. Well, I got to take the seat apart to see what they've done underneath the seat. It's today, today is all day electrical, 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 electrical. Yesterday, electrical, electrical, electrical. It's been nonstop electrical. I thought I was gonna go out there and pull a starter out of a truck and you know, get a quick hour or something out of it because it's just a 6.2 two wheel drive, 2011 Super Duty, so quick in and out. No, I get the starter out and I'm looking up in there and I'm like, yep, all of uh, the teeth are gone from the flywheel as well. Well, a third of the flywheel, the teeth are gone, so yeah, you're going to need a flywheel also.
Luckily, it's a big company and they just say do it. It doesn't matter. I gotta take the connector off the bottom of the seat. It looks like a seven mil and a plastic Christmas tree. Don't you just love it when people leave out information and say, oh, and don't say, hey, oh yeah, by the way, we installed this module, or we had, we sent it off to somebody to, to install this module, just so you know, just so it makes it a little easier on you, bud. Let me get that. So what I'm doing now is there's three circle tabs, the plastic area where you go to step into these transits, and you gotta pop these up and underneath them there's a there's three 10 mils. Once you pop those three 10 millimeter bolts out of there, you can take the whole plastic out of the step well. Now I can kind of see where these wires, now that I pulled this step well out, some. Do they go right here behind? Behind this area right here. Yeah, they do. It's being fed by something up underneath this. Comes all the way up underneath here. Probably a GPS tracker and stuff it's feeding also. What a oh my god.
the seat out of here. That's also where the battery's at. Under the seat. Now, take this piece of material off on the back side of the battery that trims everything up hides everything and then there's a brace that goes across the top that's held in with a 7 mil or an 8 mil actually not a 7 mil inside the battery. So, this is the problem. More, more than likely, this is going to be the problem right here. They've got a voltage block over here on the side of the battery tray. They've got a fuse in there for that, a fuse in here for this one, they've got no fuse in here for this one. Now, Come on out of there. So this is the contraption they have going on here. Which is ridiculous. They could have done a thousand percent better than this. This is just a regular fuse, but I don't even know what size fuse to put in there. A 10 amp? 10 or a 15 for that trailer or a I mean the trailer light module. 
I could put something in there and then go back there and test. So this is the... So the thin wire... Something changes in this harness right here. Right here, something changes. I gotta open that up, figure out what that is. And I have to figure out if this is getting power here. Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, I got this, I know. I'm just thinking out loud, you guys are just coming along for the ride. If I fry it while you're here, I fry it while you're here. That's all there is. Hmm. So the big red one goes forward. I'm going to cut this harness up. Well, I guess I could just unravel the tape from here. It looked like they changed the color of wire once it got down so far. They spliced one of the red wires into a black wire. It is open. It doesn't have no power. And that's open. Now. Yep. That's exactly what they did. The red wire was changed to a black wire about six inches outside of the loom. And then that wire, this black wire right here, feeds the power supply to the back from this fuse and there's no fuse in it and i almost guarantee if i put a fuse in there and then go back there and retest at that trailer connector it's going to be working let me go grab a fuse so essentially it would be open
Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna put a 10 amp in. Check, make sure I'm getting power. And now we go to the back and re-verify that we're getting power. I'll put the turn signal on. No, you know what? I have running lights on. That should be good enough. And I'll get this phone on the charger and we'll be done. And I'll get all this crap put back together. Well, what do you know? What does that look like? Red screen, 14 volts. Now, we move down to the connector underneath. Bingo. The trailer now has power. It's too easy. Do it right the first time, people. Now what? 150 or $175, $225 later for a, a stupid 10 amp fuse that cost uh, 60 cents. Or maybe the inflation market, a buck 20. Come on now. We got to do better than that. That's it, guys. That's all I got for you on this one. I ain't been live with you for a little bit, so I wanted to take you into a little bit of my, of my electrical stuff lately. And this just happened to be one of the easier ones. Now I got to put all this crap back and... Y'all getting uh, five more minutes and I'll kill it. You all, if y'all have questions, let me know. I'm, uh, like I said, we're here to help you. This dealership's here to help you. If you guys have questions, let me know. Same, bud. Sorry, guys. I've been super busy. I've been just trying to focus on putting out content and, and just working just and leaving it at that. I'm not on the Discord page right now because I don't remember how to log into it because it's a new phone. The well, password and stuff was saved on the other phone, and I just told everybody, you know what? I'll get on there when I get on there. My life is it's all about work, putting out video videos and content and helping people the best I know how right now, and that's as far as it's it's been. Good, great. I'm glad uh, Bob had a chew through on his uh, uh, fuel injector wire. So I drove out last night and I repaired, put a new pigtail and stuff in Bob's uh, Lincoln. He's got a really nice Lincoln. So I drove out there, Lincoln SUV, and uh, fixed his uh, fuel injection wire. M mouse chewed through the wires and left it bare. So I fixed all that so he could get back on the road. 
I don't think so. Um, because obviously, when they went to fight, this thing's only got 4,000 miles on it, it's brand new. So obviously when they had it installed, nobody went back and made sure they put the fuse in the wire that feeds everything, so now it just cost them a ton of money, but whatever. It is what it is. The other phone I had to send back because they were like, we don't want to fix the screen. We're just going to give you a new $1,300 phone. I was like, why don't you just fix the $200 screen and just give it back to me? And they were like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. The screen's on back order. We'd have to wait four, four to five weeks to get the screen. We don't want to down your phone. We're just going to give you a new phone. Okay. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get it all back together and uh, let the customer know. It is what it is. Y'all be blessed.